Bad news is I lost a shutter and it's cracked. Good news is I can fix it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I was able to get me some brandy new genuine imitation vinyl shutters. They're the wrong color. It doesn't really matter. These are faded anyway. I have to paint all of them. 11 windows, 22 shutters. Ugh. I like to use Sherwin-Williams exterior acrylic latex. Doesn't really matter. Just get yourself a high quality exterior latex paint and it'll stick to these vinyl shutters just fine. Before you get started, make sure you have some Hornet spray handy. You never know what's gonna be hiding behind these shutters. You might be able to use a pair of pliers or needle nose to pull these pins out, but I found these auto body panel pliers work much better. It's also a good idea to label your shutters as you take them off. That way you'll be sure the holes will line up when you put them back. When you take these plastic pins out, you can see how mangled the little teeth or the threads get. So it's always a good idea if you take your shutters down to replace them with new pins. You can see how much better the teeth are on these. They're going to hold much better when you get done. And then all you have to do is paint them. After you have all your shutters and pins painted, it's pretty easy to put them back up. You just put them in place, take a rubber mallet or a hammer and just tap the pins in. A little bit different on the brick though. For the most part, you can just tap them in, but these holes are a little bit bigger than they need to be, so the pins are gonna be loose. I like to take some caulk. This is Lexol. It's very similar to silicone caulk, but this is more like a glue. That's why I like to use this for things like these. And I'm just going to squirt it in the holes and it'll give the screws or the pins something to grab a hold of. Once that cures, these shutters aren't going anywhere. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Thanks for watching.